Here, the consummate outdoorsman. We've got a new machine. Holy cow! What a crew! What a cool machine this is. This is the Snow Dog, and I'm super excited about this. It's BM318 or 3i, I think is what it is. But wow, this is going to be a game changer for us. We're going to be able to go on different places that we haven't been able to go on for different ice or longer ways out as well. I'm thinking Saginaw Bay is going to be a huge one for me, and. Uh, let me get around and get to show you some features of this thing. Um, wow, I'm super, super, super stoked and excited about this for you, for us as a, as a new addition. All right, once again, this machine by the by Snow Dog. This one here is the Long Track. So you kind of see, once again, the Sport model is, is quite a bit shorter. So let's start off on the front here. Uh, weighs, I think it's right a little over 300 pounds, but you could, you know, one-handed lift it up. Super, super cool. Uh, beautiful halogen headlight or uh, LED headlight up here. So, uh, I'm gonna flip that on. That's one feature that you gotta watch out for is no matter what, it doesn't matter if it's running or not, that headlight will come on. So, you gotta make sure that your switch is in the off position or it will run the battery down. Ask me how I know. All right, running uh, uh, these two little snaps here. Got a hard cover for that. All right, running a Briggs and Stratton engine. Uh, I think it's a 13 and a half horse Briggs. I think it's what it is. There's it is. Got 13 and a half, 420 cc engine. Right there, XR, professional. Um, the control, choke controls go all the way up there. Uh, pull start right here. Super, super cool. Regular gas. Uh, got a clutch for the brake right here. And it's got a parking brake as well. Just like a snowmobile drivetrain. Everything is accessible right here. So that's really, really neat. So beautiful new belt. Um, we did buy a spare belt. I will say they're like 70 bucks. So that's gonna be making sure that gets put in the right spot so it doesn't get lost or get tangled up and break something. Okay. Um, lithium ion battery electric start they said i've been running this thing i've been playing with it quite a bit and i hadn't even used half a tank fuel and i've been like running it's not i'd run it for hours just like letting it warm up and keep it running and charging the battery and all of that so um what i'm gonna do is we're gonna get some rod holders i'm probably gonna put a um uh auger holder up here or back here um this is waterproof box i don't know i'm i'm really considering getting rid of this and putting a different carrier box in here to carry out my junk all right um uh, neat little pin right here holds the that in there wow this is so exciting um i might end up taking these off i, I think they're gonna get in my way but all right let's talk about some features all right you got a safety strap hooks to your your uh lanyard hooks to your wrist so always wear this because I've been known people to toss out, but once you let go of the throttle, it does shut off. All right. Um, here's the gray switch. So that's just headlight only. And then that's for the heated handlebars. Once again, they will stay on and come on without it running. All right. Even when this is in the off position, that's just a hard right to the battery, which I don't care for. That's one thing I don't like. Uh, parking brake. Flip it up, holds it in place, like on a hill. Just push it, let go. Electric start. So here's your starter, and then the throttle control right here. I'm gonna move this up to where it's a little bit more flat. And then this has also got reverse. So once we're gonna start it, we're gonna flip this down, and then we pull the yellow trigger. Uh, here's a choke right down here. Uh, when, it get, it, when you don't run it for over there, so it does kind of get um, pulled. Once again, there's the brake, and then the throttle control. 
see it pulls away. So, and then reverse. You flip that back, you heard it kicking gear. We'll just... Flip it back forward. Then you gotta bounce it. Alright. Wow. Game changer. Alright, turn it off. And always turn off and make sure that gray switch is in the off position. Now, once again. So the um I have not had it on. We, have, we just got it like last month. And um they say it'll go about 20 miles an hour across the snow and ice but you know why are you going any faster than that anyways i don't know i'm, not, I'm going to use ice fishing i will take it out on trails i gotta tell you that right now uh super fun <laughs> um we park it in back i keep it covered uh we just built a, or took a trailer from harbor freight aluminum one and modified it uh that's gonna be my next video and uh we so man i'm so excited about this this year this is gonna be a game changer it's gonna get us some places that i've always wanted to go to because we just either one, two, you know, it's kind of hard to walk out there in that deep snow, uh, snow snowshoeing or whatever. And then ice is just not enough. Sometimes uh, we've got our side by side. You've seen that before. Um, we got the Ranger, so we've got that. You've seen that one out there before. So, uh, and we'll we'll still use that. We'll still use that one for us. But um, this right here is going to be a huge game changer. You can attach more sleds. Down to as many as you want. Uh, I've seen people pulling five, six sleds. So it'll pull all our gear and people. So the other one, kind of a cool feature that I did get uh, extra is I got the seat so you can sit in it as you're going across. But what I'm thinking is most of the time people stand up and stand in the basket. And then Miss Jean, she can sit there on that seat as I'm driving and we can go right straight on out. Um, that's going to be really, really cool. So I want to, again, and the seat's removable. So just undo that right there and it slides right off. Uh, got your cup holders, <laughs> cool beans. And then you know, there's your other hook and you just hook other sleds to that as well. And we've got other sleds that we've uh, used. Um, I think, does it have any carriers? It's got these uh, trolleys underneath there, right there for the tracks. Um, and I've been watching some videos about this thing going through some deep, deep snow. Oh man, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost, I don't say impossible, nothing's impossible, but it's almost impossible to get it stuck. Wow, this is gonna be really, really cool um, addition to our repertoire. And uh, we're, we're gonna be able to get on some good fish. We are gonna take it to Minnesota this year. Uh, that's one thing we got the trailer for. We're going to Upper Red Lake in December. Um, I forget the date is gonna be uh, December 18, 19, and 20. Um, that's where we're going to be at, um, 18, 19, and 20. Uh, we'll leave on the 21st, that Thursday, and come back. Um, and we're going to be uh, in the Ice Castle again with uh, uh, Chaz and his crew with uh, First City Guides. They are going to put us up in one of their 2024 campers, uh, their Ice Castles as well. So we're going to do a video on their Ice Castle and the feature that, get it out there for them. Um, that's kind of what was one of the, the promises for it. Um, man. This is, I, I'm so excited. I can't tell you how excited I am. Once again, this is something that God's blessed us with. And the price on this was really good. It was uh, uh, 4,900 bucks out the door. And uh, 4,995, $5,000 with, with the seat. I got the extra belt, so a little extra. I think it's like uh, 5,050 bucks after like some discounts, stuff like that. But right at, right at 50, 55 or 5,070, just a little under $5,100. Um, total out the door we did finance it which is like I think 18 months whatever um, but as you can see it's already starting to rain and I swear it's starting to spit snow I swear it's just start spitting um, we're, we're 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 gonna get snow soon I don't know if it's gonna be cold enough to make ice uh, probably till after Thanksgiving maybe December 1st we hopefully get some ice uh, that's what it's been normally so we'll we'll see but uh, we're gonna get out and get some fish this year all right guys thank you very much for watching like subscribe share and uh let god you know let you get out and enjoy what god's created for us and let's let's have a good time i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye